In the day of all the blood, a seemingly ordinary city is thrown into chaos when its inhabitants wake up to a horrifying and inexplicable sight. Everything is covered in blood. It's not just a few stains here and there. The blood is everywhere, seeping into the streets, splattered across walls and soaking everyday objects. The thick, dark red substance appears to have no origin, leaving residents baffled and terrified. Panic spreads quickly as people realize that the blood isn't just outside, but has infiltrated their homes, workplaces, and even personal belongings. It coats furniture, drips from ceilings, and stains clothing, and attempts to clean it up are futile, as the blood seems to keep reappearing no matter how much is wiped away. The atmosphere is suffocating, with the metallic scent of blood filling the air, and the sight of crimson everywhere adding to the city's growing sense of dread. Authorities are at a loss, unable to determine the source or explain why this event is happening. Theories range from an environmental disaster to a mass hallucination, but none can account for the sheer volume of blood or the fact that every single person in the city is experiencing the same phenomenon. There are no injuries or signs of violence, just the unending, inexplicable presence of blood on everything. The situation only worsens, with reports of strange behavior among the citizens, as if the event is affecting them on a deeper, psychological level. Desperation sets in as the city's residents grapple with the terrifying possibility that they may never escape the bloody nightmare.